There we go. Ah, got him. Woo! You saw that? You saw that? It was in the second grade. He got the part. He got the lead for the play. And after that, we set benchmarks for him in order for me to get involved to help them get going. And it was, boy, it took off like the wind. That's when it was like, oh, like, I, I just booked this. I was just proud. Like, I was just like one of those aha moments. Hello, everyone. I'm EJ Williams. I'm an actor, and you might know me as Dean from The Wonder Years, and welcome to my day off. The biggest takeaway from being on a show like The Wonder Years is really that you're able to respect everybody's differences a whole lot more. And I think that's really the way I've grown as a person. So talented. You see this, I get hugs hard every day. Hard working, hard working. Work hard too. EJ's biggest strength is to be able to pick it up very quickly. He'll get off book quickly, he'll pick up a move quickly, and then, okay dad, what's next? What I love most about acting is putting a smile on people's faces, you know? Sometimes people might be having a bad day and they turn on their favorite show and I might be on it and I'm able to make somebody's day. You never know what the character is that people need to see. So for me to be able to meet that day and maybe meet that person and for them to tell me that I made their day is what really matters to me. Now today, I actually am lucky enough to be on set with my brother working the same show. And it's always a great opportunity to be able to meet new people and even share some new moments with the people you love. All right, everybody, that is a wrap on EJ and CJ. It is very important to take days off, one, because you don't want to keep going and injure yourself. Um, two, you do need some type of mental break. Whatever you're doing is going to be on your conscious all day. It's going to be in your subconscious. You just need time to relax. I mean, everybody does. My day off from acting is basketball. And I know basketball is still work, but I'm still switching categories, so it helps me the most. Today, you're going to see me come to the gym and hang out with my dad, and after that, go to my family's favorite bowling spot. Let's play one-on-one. -on -one. Here we go. Okay. Can I start? Can you start? Yeah. No, man, I'm the elder statesman. But that's not fair. Age before beauty. You don't want me to go first? You want me yeah. on defense? Yeah. All right, hold on. Let me take, let me take off oh. this chain. This right here is your, is your great grandfather, <laughs> Thomas Williams, my, my role model. I'm gonna have to take this off before I give you this whooping. Don't take this personal, okay? I'm hang in there. Most people know me as Lefty around the world because I became world-renowned by becoming the first ever left-handed showman in Globetrotter history. I started playing basketball with EJ at seven months old. Give me all you got, give me all you got. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good job. How do you hold your fall through? Show me what you got. Oh my God. Turn. Basketball is a huge part of my family, actually. My cousin, Rafael Edison, he had a huge multi-year career in the NBA. He got drafted by the Phoenix Suns. He played with the Charlotte Hornets. He played with the Detroit Pistons, the New York Knicks. My uncle, Alan Houston, shout out to him. He's the assistant general manager of the Knicks. My dad, with him being a Harlem Globetrotter, playing overseas, played in the NBA Summer League. So I'm, I see it literally almost every day. So it's huge. What you got? At one, at one. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and one. And my end is here. Uh, Just step back. Uh. Ooh. Uh -huh. Shot. Uh. Ooh. Get him out of here. I can't do that. I gotta... Get him out of here. What you got? Get to the basket. You leaving me open? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm an athlete who loves to act because before the acting came, like he said, I, I had a ball in my hands at seven months old. I've always been a basketball person. So for me to switch over into acting, it was really, it was like another platform, you know? I've always knew that all of my kids uh, had a knack for acting. EJ wanted to follow his big sister, Kiara, uh, in acting very young. He was in grade two. And it was this play that was coming up and he kept talking about wanting to audition for the lead role of a play. And I didn't really want to hear it too much because I just wanted them to just focus on school and that's it. When I was able to really show my light to my dad of ways that I can really do this and be in this industry. And when we were able to prove it to him that we were actually capable to do this, he took us there and we just started doing it. Way to work. How you feel? I feel good. It was, okay. it was hard. You gotta remember to push yourself every day. 
Nobody gonna give you anything and don't nobody owe you anything. All right, so every day you gotta give 110%, whether it's on the court, whether it's on set, right? Yeah. My dad inspires me in a lot of ways. The main way is for me to be able to see what he's doing each and every day. I came from hard beginnings. I come from Jersey City, New Jersey, my wife and I, um, and we come from nothing. And being able to give back by way of our Harold Lefty Williams Dare to Dream Foundation. I tell my kids what was once our ceiling is now your floor, and you have a leg up to move forward and trust God and trust the process with where you're going. It's great to be able to um, see the opportunities that he's helped me. Um, get to. I've never had an acting coach. My dad came from an uh, entertainment background, but it was basketball, you know? And now that I actually have help and he did it, him sharing his experiences, it carries and, and it, it inspires me each and every day. I love spending time with family because, you know, family's everything and my schedule can get pretty crazy at times. <laughs> ah, you got that, CJ. One thing you will learn about this family is it doesn't matter how bad we are, we are all competitive. Oh, that was, that was mediocre, that was mediocre. Okay, here we go. It's very important to take days off because uh, you use that time to reboot. My family, my wife and I have prided ourselves on staying connected. And it's important that we stay grounded. It's important that we stay together. So we travel together all the time. And I think that's what EJ is beginning to really appreciate. It doesn't matter how you roll it as long as it hits the pin. Listen, you might be a good actor and a good basketball player. But the PBA is not in your future. Do <laughs> not see that in your future. Yeah. <laughs> not in both. Next for me is to really continue what I've been trying to do for really my whole life, which was basketball, you know? My goal is to turn pro, you know? I don't want to keep myself compartmentalized. I want to be able to have other options because, you know, um, acting might not always be there. My biggest goals for EJ is for him to dare to dream. I want him to think outside of the box, whether that's acting, whether that's writing, directing, producing, playing basketball, or just being uh, an entrepreneur. This for you, Whistle. Got him. Again, this is EJ Williams, and thank you for joining me on my day off.